let's make some super fun and easy trifold tuxedo pockets using one sheet of paper practically any size welcome this is barbara from vienna austria and this is your channel for vintage inspired art and junk journaling so just like some of you are watching my videos for inspiration by the way thank you so much for doing that i watch other creators too for inspiration and then try to make it my own. So in this case, I saw a video by Angela Kerr, who in turn was inspired by a pocket made by Judy from Rose Lane Vintage Designs. I will of course link both of these videos for you below. And both made absolutely beautiful versions of this trifold pocket. So I've played around with the concept a bit and found that it's quite versatile. And it can be made, for example, into an ephemeral folder by using a 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, like I did here. Obviously, you can still then decorate this further with pockets and tuck spots and everything. But that is the base. And the paper I used for this, just in case you want to know, is by Bow Bunny. It's called Soiree. And this is the item number in case you are interested in this. I don't know if this is still available. I found this at a craft fair two years ago, a year ago, I'm not sure. So that's one version. So this is also really good to use uh, for Happy Mail to, to stick lots of ephemera in. You can also use a book page like I've done here to include in a small journal. <laughs> So this is really, so you, you see by the size of my hand or maybe by the size of the book page, it is quite small, but I think it's really cute. So this, this way you can see what it looks like once it has all the pockets and once it's decorated up. So it flips out both sides like this. And in the middle we have this tag here. Then I made another pocket here from the same, or from another book page. I've stuck some ephemera down inside here. I made two more pockets on the sides to include some more ephemera. And by the way, all this ephemera is also in my shop. These are scans of some of my own artwork, the grungy artwork. I will link those for you below. And I have here, I have a closure with a little magnet so that this actually stays closed. And if we take this out here, underneath here, we have another, like a writing spot. And this here is actually also a little pocket and it stays shut by adding ephemera here. And we have the same thing on this side. If we take this ephemera out, we have the little pocket here where you could put something else. So really fun for small ephemera. And uh, even in the back, <laughs> we have this pocket and we have more ephemera in here. So you can play around with it. I think it's really fun. You could also just use coffee dyed paper like I have here. And then of course you decorate it up. So same concept. I didn't make any pockets or anything yet, but the concept is always the same. You have the pocket in the back. For my current signature, which you see here, I only have one more page to fill on for this paper. And I decided I'm going to make one of these pockets for my journal and I'm going to use an A4 paper. And what I did was I printed on both sides, borderless, back to back, and I printed some of my neutral background papers, which are also in my shop and I will link for you below. So let me show you how to do this very, very simple pocket. And there's no measuring required either, which I think is a big bonus. So I think I want the lighter side inside. So we just start off by folding the page in about three equal parts. And as I said, no measuring. So I'm just going to fiddle around with it a little bit until they pretty much overlap. 
third each. It doesn't have to, in my eyes, it doesn't have to be super exact. So I think this here will do. So that took no time at all. I'm just gonna press these down so that I know where to fold. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and just fold them down one side and second side oops that was very crooked let's try that again <laughs> there, that's better there so now you see the fold so i have one fold it has about a 16th space here between the crease and where my page ends and same thing actually on the outside i have about a sixteenth of an inch maybe like two millimeters left but i think that's fine for the inside actually i think it's better because it just makes it easier to fold for the outside it could go all the way to the edge but i'm fine with it like this then so that was basically the hardest part <laughs> Of the whole trifold. Next we're going to fold. You just take your your right upper corner, you fold it down and again I'm not folding all the way to the crease, I'm leaving about a sixteenth of an inch or about a millimeter or two and just fold that diagonally so that I have a triangle here at 90 degrees. Very easy. We do the same thing on the other side. So we're just gonna open this. So we have our second piece here and we do exactly the same thing. Try to be as straight as possible. And then just give it a good crease. So now we have these two outer pieces folded over. And we're gonna... So that's what it looks like for now. And now all we do is we just open it up again, we turn it around and we fold the other side up and you can decide how big you want your pocket to be. Now this also might depend on how big the journal page is that you want to put it on if you want to put it in your journal. But you shouldn't go all the way up to your triangle because this is a pocket and so it's going to be hard to put something in if these are so close together you sh so you should leave a little bit of a gap so i'm gonna go approximately here and just fold it right down and th the thinner your paper so this is regular copy paper the thinner your paper the easier these are to make if it if you do these with with your with your scrapbook paper it is a bit harder and of course it's gonna get a lot bulkier especially once you put ephemera in so that's why i think these are not great to put in your journal but they are great as separate ephemera folders so once we have this up we can then again turn it around and now when we fold this back it doesn't matter which which one you put on the outside you do what, what works for you, what you like. Now you just might have to adjust it just a tiny bit to all be lined up. Go over it again with your bone folder. And there's your trifold. So it opens up like this. We're gonna add some pockets inside. We have the pocket here, we have a pocket here, and we have a pocket in the back as well. Now I'm realizing that actually I want, <laughs> I want the other side. I want this because this is hardly visible, this side. So I'm just gonna turn this around. I'm gonna just fold everything the other way because I want more of that paper showing. So I'm just gonna flip these in and I'm gonna flip this out and then fold it again and now I have a lot more of this beautiful paper showing that I like more yeah this is much better all right so just gonna make sure that everything is really lined up well okay 
So you see this actually doesn't line up perfect. So if that bothers you, then you really need to fold it very precisely. I can actually pull this over a little bit still to meet up, but it doesn't really bother me. But for the purpose of this video, let's just try to be exact. There. So now it lines up completely. You can also, if you don't want these folds to be on the outside, you could maybe do this with one or even with both. You just fold them on the inside and then have it closed like this. Or you put this one on the inside, have it like this. So there's so many options. It's just so fun to play with this. So I think I'm just gonna leave both on the outside like this. So my first step is, of course, because it's me, <laughs> I'm going to be inking all of the sides up. I'm just moving this a little bit more to the edge there. So I'm gonna ink all of these up with my vintage photo and then we'll just close the pockets and move on from there. So once I've inked everything up, I can now glue together the two pockets that we have here. So I'll just put a, actually I'll open this up, it just makes it easier for the gluing. So I will put a bead of glue right here along this side. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. You could also sew these if you wanted to with your sewing machine. And I just realized I forgot to ink up these two creases. <laughs> so let me just do that quickly. So now we have our fold. And now we can think about where do we want to have more pockets. So I think I wanna have more pockets all here. So for this one, I think I'm going to make two triangular pockets. So one on either side here, and I'm going to use this printout from my music paper, also from my shop. But if you have real vintage music paper, that of course would be lovely to use as well. And the way I'm going to measure this, I want to make these by not just cutting a triangle and then gluing them on, I want them to have the flaps so that the pockets actually have more rooms in them. So I want to make this triangle actually a little bigger than it would have to be. Cut it here and here. And I'll show you in a moment. So I cut two the same size because we're gonna need two. And now you see it is a little bit taller than I need it to be because what I wanna do is I just want to fold over a flap on in this case the right side and also on the bottom just like that and now i'm going to take my scissors and i'm just going to cut along just that corner and i'm also going to cut the corner off this flap and of this flap. So you see now we have these two flaps. On this one on the side, one on the bottom. And then you can just take a ruler or any kind of straight edge. I don't have my ruler here, so I'll just use this paper. And draw a line from corner to corner to form your triangle. Like this and just cut along your line. Going to erase the pencil line. And now when we fold these in, we have a perfect corner tuck spot, which is actually just the tiniest bit too high. So no problem. I can easily just cut that a little bit more. Okay. 
and now it fits. Actually, now the flaps are showing, showing from the back, so I'll just cut those down as well. Okay, so I will do the same thing with the other one, and I will then ink those up. So maybe I'll show you again quickly. So I'm going to fold in a flap from here and from the bottom. So I'm doing it on the other side now. Like this, and maybe I'll do it a little bigger this time because I know the other one was, the triangle was too big. So now I can check, yeah, this is better. So I'm going to draw my diagonal. Maybe I'll do that before I cut the flaps. Like this. Then I'll just cut along my line. I'll cut away this corner of the flap. I'll cut away this whole corner here. And I'll cut away this flap. And if I did it right, it will fit. Yep, that works. Okay, so let me just ink those up and then we can glue them down. After they are inked, all we do is we have to just glue down the flaps. So I'll just put glue on both of them. Now on this one, on the small one, you can see here I made rectangular ones and I actually just glued them down on, the both, on both sides. I didn't even make any flaps, but that means they have less, less room in them to put something in. So for the middle, for this one I've just torn a piece of a book page and made it into one single pocket. Now we can either do the same here, or we could do a bigger pocket with a smaller pocket on it. Why don't we do that? We could even do two pockets, like two single pockets, but I think I like the idea of one pocket and then having another pocket on it. And to continue with the theme, I'm gonna use the same paper here and I think I want it so that I have this title here right in the middle. So this is O Sole Mio or in German Meine Sonne meaning my son, like the sun as in S-U-N not S-O-N. <laughs> and I think that is a nice and cheerful pocket to have. So I think this one again I'm going to make with flaps so that I have more room meaning that I need to calculate that it needs a little more space on each side when I cut it. So if I want this in the middle, I'm just centering it between my two folds. And then, so I want my pocket to go till about an eighth of an inch inward of the fold. So I'm gonna add maybe another eighth, should be enough roughly on both sides. And on the bottom, I want it to, I want, how high do I want it to be? I don't want it to be super high. So maybe like this. So I want it to be this high. So I'll add another eighth or a fourth actually. I think it's a fourth of an inch <laughs> or like a half a centimeter or something to the bottom. So I'm going to trim this. So this is my trimmed down piece and I'm just going to erase my guidelines here. And now I'm just going to fold the flaps on all three sides. You could score them if you want to be precise, but I think this is going to work just fine. Okay, 
we have our three sides folded and now again we're going to cut off the two bottom corners diagonally like this and then I'm going to cut diagonally on this flap and on this flap so that's going to be the bigger pocket and then I want one another one on here so I can use the same paper because it has the same width from when I cut it before so that's perfect so they are exactly the same and I just need to figure out how high I want it to be so I don't want it to cover up too much maybe about like this so again I have to calculate that I need a flap so I'll add that and I will just trim that there so I maybe I'll turn this around center that and then I know it needs to be this wide to fit together with the other pocket so this is where I'm going to fold would have been better to make the pencil mark on the other side so that I actually know where to fold <laughs> that works yep that lines up nicely so now I just need to do it on the bottom as well and same process I'm gonna cut off both the bottom corners and the flaps on the top So that's like that and I do like the idea of maybe doing a partial circle punch here. I have my one and a half inch punch or 3.8 centimeters and I'm just gonna take this pocket that was on top and I'm going to try to center this and then cut out not a half circle I think that would be too much more like a third of a circle. <laughs> and punch that out so now we have this which i think looks nice especially once we ink everything up again then we can see all the edges better which were really hard to see now i know so again we just glue everything on of course this outer pocket doesn't have to be the same width as the one underneath it could be smaller that would be also really cute I don't know why I was so set on making it exactly the same. <laughs> totally not necessary. Okay, I think that's all the pockets I'm going to do on the inside. On the outside, we already have these. Now, if you want, what uh, the two ladies do in their video is they put a paper here for journaling, as you have seen maybe here. So, so this here holds the fab closed which is good because otherwise it's going to stand up like this and so in here we have this paper here for journaling and it's also a, like a secret tuck spot so i think that's fun so why don't we do that i have here a scrap paper coffee dyed and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it here right along my triangle and I'm just I want to see a little bit of that paper underneath I don't want to cover it completely so I'm leaving about what is this 16th again or an eighth <laughs> I think it's an eighth of an inch or like three or four millimeters um, I'm gonna leave some space and then mark that and then I'm gonna cut two squares so I'm just gonna cut down here let me just do this with you on camera <laughs> I think it's easier so take my paper trimmer i'm just going to cut along that mark and now i need two squares and since i'm gonna have to fold them anyway the easiest way is to just 
fold down the triangle and then I know where to cut it and I do the same thing but this yeah it's fine it doesn't matter which way you fold your triangle because you can turn it anyway both triangles should be the same yep <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first ink it up but then we're just gonna glue it in here and then it can flip up so once they are inked up if you want to put them down to have the secret pocket then all you do is you you fold it and then you glue it on two sides if you don't want the pocket you just glue down the whole thing like that. I'm sorry, I just had wet fingers because I washed my hands and I didn't dry them properly. So now my paper is a bit wet, but that's all right. Yeah, so now we have the secret pocket here and this can flip up for some journaling and this will... Oh, but I see now I made this too long. Look, if I put this over, you can see it come out. So maybe that's not a good idea. So we can still lift this. So I guess I have to glue it in a little further up. Ah, oh, can I still get this? Oh no, oh no, it's tearing. I think I'm totally gonna ruin it. No, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it as it is. It is what it is my own mistake that's okay still gonna put it in my journal <laughs> be be careful if you don't want this showing like this then be sure to glue this up all the way up to the crease because I thought I could leave a space but obviously you can't <laughs> so now I gotta do this mistake on both sides so that it looks like it was done on purpose So here too, we have it showing under. I mean, it's not a big deal, really. It looks fine, I think. But if you need perfection, then please don't do that. <laughs> so now I think we have all the pockets and everything in place. So what is left to do is to decorate and to fill all the pockets, which of course is the best part of the whole thing. In order for me to decide what I want to decorate these pockets with, I think it makes sense to first know what I'm going to actually put inside here, which ephemera. And I thought what I would do is, I think this is a perfect place to put some of my recently made mini collage, no, what are they called? Collaged mini master boards. <laughs> and I will link that video for you below in case you missed it. So I made some of these on camera, but then I made some more off camera just because I was having so much fun. Now I'm not sure which ones I made on camera. I think I made these two on camera and the pumpkins with the good vibes. And I think the other four I made off camera. I made this one. I made this one on camera as well. I'm not sure if I made any other on camera now, to be honest. But anyway, so I have this one. Then I have this one. Then I have this one and this one and another small one so I have two small ones and a few big ones I'm not going to use all of these in here and on the back sides I have covered them with some coffee dyed paper and I actually added some faint stamping just to have something there I did that off camera so that's just another idea if you don't just want a blank backside but you do, do still maybe want to be able to have the possibility to write on it you can just do a faint stamp and that way it will still look pretty but you can still use it okay so now all i need to do is i need to decide which do i want where so. 
Maybe I'll start out with the Good Vibes one here in the front. Then moving on to the inside. I think I want this one with the butterflies in my tall pocket, like that. Then I need another one. I think I want my animal spirit, this beautiful bird here. Now these two are good for the small ones. So I'll just put one like here and this birdie over here. And then we still need one for here. Which one do we want? How about the Stay Wild one? And then we also still have this pocket in the back. So I could maybe add this one with the mushrooms. Okay, now of course it's getting quite bulky because of because these cards of course are a bit thicker. So if you don't want that, then just be sure to use pieces that are not as thick. So now this helps me to kind of have a feeling for what I want to decorate these parts with. So I have these two left over. I can use them in something else. I'm taking my box of neutral colored scraps and I'm gonna set this beside me. And now I'm just going to make some very simple collaging on the bottom here. I want nothing too fancy because I don't wanna take away all the attention from the cards. But I do want something there, obviously. I could use some music paper. And I don't want anything bulky because it's already quite bulky. Not thinking too much about this. Just gonna put something down. And I have this leftover scrap here from a lace print. Don't want any straight edges as usual. No white edges, please. <laughs> That's all it needs for a background. And then we could either add a sentiment or a little something for decoration. I just pulled out some stickers I have. So these are the stickers I was working on with the cards as well. So maybe I'll just try putting this clock on there. But as usual, I don't like the very wide edge that it has. So I do wanna cut that down a little bit. that but I do think I want a small little word there so I'm checking in my cigar box I have some sentiments quotes words and oh look there's two that are jumping at me let's see if one of those will work will work I have love and I have vintage both of those would work Vintage, if I use it, I would cut that down a little bit. The love is good to go, but I think I want the vintage in this case. So I will cut it a little bit. Okay, now what about this one here? Again, I'm just gonna start off by putting down some scraps. I kind of would love to add some lace, but it's just gonna get too bulky. I don't wanna do that. Oh, I like that. That is from a very old botanical book.
And as always, it feels great to use some scraps. I love it. <laughs> Not that my drawer is ever getting empty or I have the feeling. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. So that's that. Should we add a word? I feel like if we add a word here, I'm going to have to put a, put a word everywhere. I'm not sure I want that. But on the other hand, I really like the love there. <laughs> I'll just put it down. There. I like that. Very simple, quick. We have these here. So I think I definitely need something here. Yep, I like that one. Trying to angle it just a little bit, <laughs> just to get out of me always just doing vertically and horizontally. <laughs> there's some green because there's green here. Oh, I could just add another stamp. That is a good option. Or, no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my tearing ruler and just tear around this. I think this was from... Oh, I could be mistaken now, but I'm, I think it's from the Your Creative Studio box from one of their papers. Now you think you've used one scrap, but actually you've created three more. <laughs> it's really a never ending story with those scraps. Because now we can just put that there and I love that. Just needs a bit of inking. Put that right in the middle. So that's the bottom of the middle pocket. I'm not putting anything here because I really think this is pretty with the title like that. Now I think we need a little something on the two triangular pockets. We could make them coordinated with the middle by using bits of green. Yes, I kind of like that. Not thinking too much. <laughs> Putting down what's on my desk. Sometimes I know it's really hard to make these decisions of what to put where. I have these left from the from one of the Your Creative Studio boxes. I think these envelopes are so cute. I'll just take the smallest one. Put that like this. And I'll do the same thing on the other side with a little bigger one. Like that. Now I'm gonna put stickers on these because maybe you see here in the background, I have these two floral stickers and they came, not sure if it was from this one, but it was a very similar sticker sheet to this. So to make everything fit together, I could just add one of each to those pockets. So there's the one on the left and there's the one on the right. I don't think we need words. Okay, do we have everything? No, we need something for here, definitely. Here's a piece of some really thin ledger paper. Here's some packaging. So I think that balances this dark paper well. And on top we could add another envelope. This time we can add a bigger one. There we go, so easy. So if we don't wanna use this as an ephemera folder, we of course want to add it in some way to our journal. Now, mine has really become very bulky because of these cards that I've made. So if yours isn't as bulky, you can do what Judy does, is she makes a little hinge from like a book page or, or coffee dyed paper or whatever and then you can just hinge that and then you can open it like this and of course you can open these but mine is just too bulky to do that you could also just put 
some washi tape here, but definitely add glue to your washi tape because otherwise it won't hold it. Now, for me, this is both of these aren't gonna work and I'm still debating whether I actually want this in my signature because it's very bulky. But on the other hand, since I, don't, since I don't have a cover yet, I am free to have this as bulky as I want. But I haven't yet made up my mind if I actually wanna put this in my journal or whether I wanna keep this separate and maybe make another one for my journal with, which is gonna be less bulky. I still need to decide that, but until I do, I will clip this onto my page. So I have here a, a larger paper clip and I'm just going to clip that on like this so that it stays secure and that would be my page if I decide to leave that. If your booklet opens too much and you don't like that, what you could do is, well, one solution would be to put a little Velcro dot on, on here and here, and then you could just have it with Velcro, or you could put in a magnet if you have one, or if you have neither of those, but you wanna close it, of course, another option is just to use string or twine and just to tie it around, and that would actually be really cute as well. It would be easy to open and it would look cute. Let's see what that would look like. Yeah, so I think that's really cute with the twine as well. So have some fun with these trifold tuxedo pockets. Experiment, see what works best for you. See what size, what paper works you could have hours or days of fun with these <laughs> just have a good time and thank you as always for hanging out with me and love you guys Mwah. Mwah.